So this question just came in, can I have evil ICL surgery if I already am experiencing some floaters? And the answer to that is yes, but also if you are very, very nearsighted and you've experienced either some retinal tear, break or detachment or other retinal issues in your past, it's probably beneficial to see a retinal specialist to get their blessing before surgery because if there's any issues with the retina, they can often be treated beforehand to minimize the risk of any issues after surgery. But if someone has a history of experiencing floaters, what I will often tell people is floaters are normal, but everyone has some level of baseline floaters. And as we get older and move throughout life, as we age, we tend to develop more floaters with time. Eye surgery itself typically doesn't lead to more floaters, but sometimes it can. And you know, with forms of corrective eye surgery like LASIK, SMILE, PRK, EVO ICL, RLE, the risk of that tends to be quite minimal, but it's possible it could happen. And so what I will tell people is you may notice a little bit of floaters after surgery. For the vast majority of people, it's something that the brain's really good at neuroadapting to. That's not typically something that's super bothersome. 